What's going on, everybody? My name is Hydros, and welcome back to some more My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. And today we have a very, very big video because today we are going to show you how to install My Hero Academia Ultra Impact on an emulator. So here today, yes, you heard that right. You saw the title correctly. We are going to do that here in today's video. But before we go ahead and get started, make sure you guys go down there, click that red subscribe button if you haven't already. Click that bell, turn on all notifications, miss on any future videos, especially one like this. And also drop a like down below on today's video if you guys do enjoy and comment hashtag emulator love if you're loving the fact that we're gonna be having emulators for My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. All right, so before we go ahead and get started, Yes, we are going to show you guys how to install My Hero Ultra Impact, the global version. And I do believe it works on JP, but we're going to be using the global version specifically in today's video. But we're going to show you guys how to install it on an emulator. But before I go ahead and get started, I want to say a big, big apologies to the people in the Discord and stuff like that that were showing me, hey, I got it working on an emulator. Hey, it works on an emulator, works on an emulator. And showing me screenshots and all that stuff. And I want to say I am very, very sorry. I goofed. I'm a big goof myself <laughs> and uh, I really want to say sorry that I was very skeptical and I was accusing people of faking it uh, because if you guys don't know my hero academia ultra impact has something called safety net at least on Android specifically and safety net is something that emulators cannot replicate because the when you're on an Android device your device sends a safety net token which emulators normally at, or at all they can't replicate that same safety net token so they can't do it which is why emulators don't work with games that have safety net and my hero ultra impact is one of them now I, I tried replicating people's things that they were saying in the discord again mha discord links to it down in the description down below if you want to go join it uh but yeah i've tried replicating what people were saying to do i tried using this emulator that emulator nothing was working for me and i was always getting the same error that you could not play the game and it was erroring out and stuff like that so you know, I was very, very skeptical at first. I was very like, I was like, there's no way this can be real. There's no way you actually got it working. I can't get it to work. So how are you getting it to work? You're very, either very lucky or something's going wrong here. And I'm not sure. I was trying the Google play store app. I was trying Ku app tap tap. I was trying to download from APK pure to install it manually, but I could not get anything to work. I couldn't get a manual APK. I couldn't get blue stacks. I couldn't get Knox. I couldn't get any emulator to work. Even LD player. I could not get to work that people were saying LD player was working. So I was like, cool. I guess this isn't working for me, whatever. Something must be different or something must be fake. So again, I want to say big, big sorry to all of those that I was saying it was fake or I was saying that I was very skeptical of. Uh, so I do apologize. This is 100% working. I am 100% running this game on an emulator right now as you're seeing this video. So again, I want to say a big sorry and I'm a big, big goof, but hey, we all make mistakes, right? But here today, I'm going to show you guys how to run the emulator and specifically what emulator to use. So here today, we have My Hero Academia Ultra Impact, the global version. And as you can see, I am on an emulator. I am running on LD player. And there is a very, very specific LD player that you have to do. And links to the website will be down in the description down below, specifically the place to download LD player. So I'll link that in the description down below. But the emulator that you're going to need is LD player. And it's going to be, I think, 4.0.76. It's a very specific version that I've seen people say works. Again, I was on LD player. I was on this website. I was sitting there downloading this. I downloaded the 64 bit version, which by the way, to run my hero academia, ultra impact, you are going to need a 64 bit version. And I will link that in the description down below, but you are going to need the 64 bit version version, which I downloaded right here from the LD player website. I downloaded a 64 bit version 4.0.76. I downloaded it right. Android 7.1 downloaded a 64 bit version. And I, I, I couldn't get it to work. I literally downloaded it from the website and I could not get it to work until today. I actually got it to work today and it should work for everybody here today doing it as I am going to do it right now. So this is where I got it. I got it from this specific site right here, this like page on LD player and I downloaded LD player for 64 bit. And as you can see down here, games that only work on a 64 bit version of LD player. My Hero Academia Ultra Impact is literally right there. So you need the 64-bit version, not the 32, not the 32, but the 64 right here in the middle. I'm going to link this specific page because this is the download link that I specifically used that worked for me. So I want you guys to exactly replicate mine because if you do, you should get it to work. So you're going to download this and it's going to pop up. Hey, do you want to download? Yes, save, and then run the exe file to install LD player, you know, install it wherever you need to go and then install it. 
and then run LD player. So again, download the 64 bit version. You do not need a 64 bit operating system. That's not how that actually works. Uh, so you don't need a 64 bit version of Windows to specifically download 64 bit LD player. So you can download 64 bit LD player on a 32 bit computer if you run that. But majority of people nowadays have a 64 bit computer. So it really shouldn't matter. Either way, I just wanted to mention that. As you can see, My Hero Academia Ultra Impact is one that listed here, and it does work. And as you can see here, My Hero Academia Ultra Impact is launched on my LD player. Now, if we go to LD player, I want to go to the settings, and let's see if I can find, if I can see the LD player settings. No, I can't see the about, I don't think. Can I see it? Uh, I think it is right... Is it right here about us? Yeah, here we go. LD player 4.0.7664 right here. So that's a 64 bit version 4.0.76. Again, this is the version that works for me. And I the, that's the version that you guys are going to want to look for to download 4.0.76 64 bit version. So that is the version of LD player that you're going to want to play. So I'm going to go ahead and close the app here just so I can relaunch it for you guys. That way you guys see that it is working. I do have an account on the device, but again, the 64 bit version of LD player. Now, what I specifically got to work, I did not download it from the Google Play Store and I did not download it from KuApp. I downloaded it from APK Lust, this website right here that has the APK ready to download. It's a 58 megabyte file and it's on version 2.0.1 for global. This is the global version of My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. So this is where I'm gonna link you guys. I'm gonna link this specific download for you guys in the description down below. Again, LD player, 64 bit version. The download will be linked in the description and the APK specifically will also be linked in the description for you guys to download it. Again, once you download the APK, you can then drag the APK onto the emulator instance. So once you launch the emulator, just drag the, the APK file onto the emulator and it should automatically install it once you do that. So again, I'm gonna link the APK in the description and LD player in the description. Once you have that, you should be good to go. The game should be installed. So go ahead and launch the game from LD player. You shouldn't need to do anything else. I didn't have to do anything specific to get it to work. I had to download that specific emulator version. And then I downloaded the APK from APK Lust. And that is how mine magically worked. Again, I did this method. I tried the emulator version specifically last time and it did not work for me. Last time I was trying all different versions of the APK. Maybe APK that I had before was kind of messed up or something was wrong with it or corrupted or something like that, right? So maybe that was the reason mine was not working. But as you can see, Ultra Impact, I'm gonna press start, tap the screen. I already have an account on here and I'm gonna go ahead and just minimize that right there. That way you can see right there, LD player, boom. My Hero Academia Ultra Impact, I can go to quests, I can go to home, I can go to characters. As you can see, I'm moving the window around, there we go. But yeah, My Hero Academia Ultra Impact, working on LD player. That is how you're going to install it on your Windows machine and being able to play on an emulator, right? So recruit, let's see, do I have anything that I can recruit? I don't think I have enough. Oh, I have 50, let's go ahead. Just for the sake of the video, let's do a summon just to show off that the emulator is working beautifully here. Okay, so no, not getting anything good probably here today. Uh, you can go into the settings and change like the aspect ratio and stuff like that as you wish. You can change settings in the emulator specifically like if you want to change the resolution, the cores, the RAM. That way you can mess with it to get it working specifically for you. That way you can make sure that your uh, PC is not overloaded or anything like that. So make sure you get the appropriate settings. Game. Hello? Game? Okay, we are back. Again, my, my LD player crashed for whatever reason, but we are back. The game is launched and it did use my gems, unfortunately. What did I actually get from my summon? I want to know because it crashed literally on the summon animation and stuff like that. So I'm not actually sure. But again, emulators, they're not 100% perfect. So just be aware of that, right? It's not 100% perfect, but you can still run it. I got, a, oh, I got an R memory. That's okay. Either way, this is how you're going to be able to run My Hero Academia Ultra Impact Global. And I believe JP as well should work for you guys also. But again, the, I am running the global version of My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. Again, to download this and to use My Hero Academia Ultra Impact, you're going to want to then install 64-bit LD Player 4.0.76. Again, links will be down in the description down below. I will link this specific page that I downloaded from. And then I'll also link this APK to install onto the LD player. All you have to do is drag the APK onto the emulator instance and it should install automatically for you guys. But I'm going to link both of those in the description down below. Let me know your comments, questions, or concerns down in the description in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, let's get a big, big like spike for the emulator support for My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. Again, can be finicky, but it is working nonetheless. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I want to say sorry again to those that I thought was... Uh, 
uh, faking it or I was just skeptical overall. I do apologize. And you guys were right. It does actually work. So again, big, big goof on my part. But again, really want to say, I really want to apologize in the video for you guys. And then also show you guys that it does actually work. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in the next video.